state transition diagrams allow you to conceptualise and visually communicate Markov models, specifically the health states and transitions between them. This state transition diagram has three health states with transitions between them. It can be converted in one click to a Markov model where you can add more details. To create this state transition diagram, we build it using the state transition diagram editor. You can open this from the files menu or via the launch pad. This editor has its own toolbar specific to building state transition diagrams. We'll click the add state button to add the first health state to the diagram. We'll resize the state shape and then the next state will also match the same size. You can position them within the editor by selecting and dragging them around. So there are a few ways to rename the health state. What we recommend is opening the diagram properties, which you can find in the toolbar, and then going in to change the name of the selected state or indeed transition. This one we've named local cancer. Now we'll repeat this for two more states. We'll add both metastases and dead. Again, we need to rename these states. And this time we'll do that directly within the health state itself. Using the toolbar, we're going to click the add arc button to add the transition between states. And you can do that including back to the same state as well. So this first one is going to be from local cancer back to local cancer. You can select the arc and now what we'll do is give the transition a name. So in this case, it's going to be stay here as in remain in local cancer. And now we can add the other transitions to the model. So again, we have a transition from local cancer to metastases. And that one we're going to call progress to metastases. So again, we can go in the diagram properties and give the appropriate name. The next transition we're going to add is going to be from local cancer to dead. And that one will be called die. And again, we select the arc, go into the diagram properties and rename it appropriately. And we'll continue with this through the model. You can click on any of the transitions you have and bend them and shape them appropriately. And then you can also click undo to change them back as well. As soon as you've added all of your transitions into the model, it will be complete. So the last one is for adding transition from metastases to dead. The other thing which is quite nice to do is with your labels that you're adding in, you can actually move them around so they don't sit exactly on top of your transitions. So just by selecting them and moving them, you can make your state transition diagram look more visually appealing. We can convert this Markov process into the tree format, which is how we usually see a Markov model represented in Triage Pro. We can use the toolbar or we can right click and then convert it into a Markov model. The Markov model in tree format contains all your health states and patient pathways for movement among the health states. It will not include the numeric elements, probabilities, costs and utilities required for analysis. These still need to be added in prior to analysing your model. When we convert it, we can add all these elements just like in any other Markov model. We can also copy and paste the Markov model into a larger decision tree. This decision tree has two strategies which are Markov models. We want to copy the Markov model into there. All we do is select the Markov node, go into the subtree menu, select the subtree, and then in the edit menu, select copy. Then we go back to our original decision tree and again go into the edit menu and select paste. And our Markov model is now pasted into the tree. You can also take any Markov model in the native tree format and convert it into a state transition diagram. The state transition diagram may be a better representation for your model for a presentation or document where you want your audience to quickly understand the pathways in the model. Images of state transition diagrams can also be copied to be pasted into alternative documents. Just go to the file menu, save as image and then select the appropriate uh, file type um, and save this somewhere appropriate and then include it within your documentation.